Hello everyone, Galactic Storm here. Welcome to the show, and today it's time to review the very first Japanese tank, the Renault Atsu, Tier 1 Japanese light tank. Uh, this tank was made in 1929 in France as the original Renault. Uh, it was upgraded from the Renault 10 Rod from the uh, bot, I would say, from the Japanese Imperial and they were used in action and training and all sorts of stuff and it was slightly modernized since they were slightly modernized they decided to use this tank and it worked out really well for their part uh... yeah uh, it looks like the Renault doesn't it? and yes there is a... I only don't have that much uh, Japanese tanks for as of now well because I'm trying to review them one at a time blah 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 so first thing on the bat 110 hit points, 75 horsepower, 23 kilometers per hour, which is slow. Traverse speed's good, uh, 48 degrees per second. Armor on this thing, it has really good uh, frontal armor, uh, 30, 30, 22. Uh, good, uh, bad, or uh, I, decent uh, turret armor, 20, 20, 20. Uh, damage on this thing's 34, 56. Low penetration, 25, 41. 17.65 rate of fire. Uh, turret traverse 35, view range 260, and signal range 350. So that's only with the first package gun, and that's pretty horrible right there, the 37 millimeter. But then again, the Japanese were underpowered back then. Uh, 37 millimeter, same thing with this one, a slight upgrade. And then you got the 13 millimeter, which is pretty bad as it as it was. This thing won't even penetrate tier two. But uh, there's the uh, that's the top gun that I've gotten when I first got this tank. Uh, it's the 37 millimeter infantry cannon, and then, well, not really that one, but this is the one, the 37 millimeter shock suit. This one doesn't have as a m really good accuracy, but has a good degree, but it, it has a low penetration on it. And then it refers to the Type 95 Hago and the Shini. The Chini, I'm sorry. And let's talk about the pros and cons on this thing. It has the bust, frontal, and side armor in the tier, which is pretty good. It has decent agility, and it surprisingly has the best gun depression in the game. Wow. The cons on this thing uh, even this out. It's got bad speed, poor turret traverse speed. It has a large driver hatch, which can be penetrated, and the turret on this thing is less armored. So, right off the bat with this tank, it doesn't have good penetration on the gun, but it does have uh, enough to uh, go after tier 1s. So, this thing can be good, and the accuracy won't really help on this thing, so I, th I suggest getting a little bit up close and maybe try being in the cover. So I've got some gameplay for you guys, and I hope you enjoy. I know I'm doing another province video, but province it's a very rare video that I rarely have on my channel, and plus it's only used until up to tier three. And as usual, most of the class or most of the tanks here are not Atsus, and but there is a few different tanks on there on the opposite time or side. Uh, they have a an L tractor and an MS1. So I'm going to go back to my usual uh, spot right here, uh, where I usually go at blah blah blah. You probably know I've been at that spot a whole different times. And I think this spot suits me very well because if I was attacked like up in the front or where those mountains are, I could easily just back up and then try to deal with the uh, people on the side. But this, uh, this uh, situation, I'm not going to be on this part of the uh, map for not not for a while or not for long because those two other tanks out there coming up onto the side or that are going to the other side of the map where the uh, where the cap circles at uh, they're gonna be in a bit of a trouble and as you can see our targets have been spotted and as you can see right here uh, there's three of them got spotted and well they're gonna be in much trouble and eventually uh, that side's going to be in uh, more uh, troubles than one. I thought there would be like other tanks that would be coming in this way, but 
no they didn't and we've just lost two people and they're already getting damaged over there and yeah I think they need help over there and we have lost another one so I was worried that it was going to be that the tanks are going to be coming to the side here and if I didn't react fast enough uh, well I wouldn't I would be in much trouble and maybe I'd be by myself it would be good for like a montage but no 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 I, I'm not trusting this tank but uh with this I've gotten well this is my very first gameplay of it I forgot to mention that and we're already tied to three so I thought I could help them out a little bit more so I'm helping out with this very 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 wounded Atsu and uh Good, trying to figure out where the rest of the enemy team is. Now I'm using the uh, I think it's the 37 infantry gun if I'm not mistaken and this one it does have a little bit more penetration than like the average 37 millimeters that you get with this thing. There's a, uh, an, an L tractor right there. I took a few shots from it by showed in my front. I really didn't know about the armor at this time so there we go. Took my first kill there and then I got damaged by another Renault Atsu which is I think is like further down on the opposite side of the map then there's a another one that's just right down in the middle he's pretty much a kill fest right there took a shot at it, did some damage but I didn't uh, do the kill there I thought it'd be a kill there but I, it, it wasn't so where the other uh, tanks are they're right down here uh, I my tracks got blown up by the, this Renault right here. I didn't know at the time if there was gonna be another one, but then uh, I did a stupid mistake. I pressed X. Uh, my can got busted, and uh, it just switched and just fixed my tracks. So that 0.5 uh, accuracy is even worse now. I'm guessing it's like 0 0.06. That's one of the bad bad things about this uh, with this Renault. Uh, with with this tank, I mean, it doesn't have really good uh, accuracy, as you can see right here. You would have to take like very lucky shots in that. So I took a nice little dead-on shot there, and tried to do a few more. I'm pretty much spamming rounds all over the side of the map here. And there's one right there. Yeah, I'm asking for fire for it. I keep on asking for fire, and one person took a nice shot at it. So uh, we're winning now by a, sl a, sl a small margin, I would say. Uh, it's three to four, four to three, I would say. And I'm trying to go up here, up on this side, and I'm trying to go to the cap circle right here. But uh, I'm gonna have to be more careful j because of this uh, damaged gun that I have. And more than likely, uh, it's gonna be right there. Uh, I don't know where the other tanks are, but I do know they were on that side. So I decided to go to this part here. Maybe try to catch their attention and be like, oh hey, I'm a free kill. Or something like that. I, To be honest with you, uh, this tank is pretty good. But uh, it's just not the, the... Well, the armor on this thing's good. The best on its tier. And there's the there's another Renault Otsu, but... The guns on this is not really good uh, compared, like with the T7 Combat car and that I did. And holy shit, I did like a, I did a shot right there, and yeah, he went down. There's only two tanks left, but the only bad thing about this tank, I would say, is just the guns, and it's not really as fast compared to like the other tanks in the uh, tier. Most of the tier, surprisingly, most of the tanks on this are based on the Renault. And as you well know, the Renault is well known for being the very first tank on having a rotated turret. And yeah, uh, that's uh, it's nice to have to see uh, like models come out here. And there's the last tank right there. One guy took a shot at it. I took a shot at him. And with my horrible accuracy gun, uh, missed my, that one. This guy's trying to shoot me. I only and there we go. Uh, my second kill. And I only got a three damage done out of me. Awesome. So two kills, busted turret, and I did pretty well. Did about 2300 uh, silver, mastery badge class 2, 80%, and 916 experience.
And I thought I, I damaged more tanks, if to be honest with you. I thought I damaged like two other Renaults. Um, so it says I damaged one Renault. I damaged, uh, what was it? Another Renault, but killed it. But then I destroyed the uh, L tractor right there. So as you can see right there, uh, I, I swore I did more damage. I, I'm pretty sure I, I, I did like two other extra shots there. But said I did 196 damage, 22 assists. The bottom one should have gotten it, and I, most of the uh, ammo or the money I lost was because of the uh, supplies that I did. Uh, you really don't earn as much money when it comes to tier one. So the Renault Atsu, uh, a nice little armored tank with uh, weak guns, but not really good accuracy, not really good uh, speed, but it does have a good agility. Uh, so for this tank, uh, this tank was something that uh, was a bit of a confusion for me to understand at first. And then I understand real quickly that uh, this tank really doesn't have good turret up front, but it does have a good uh, armor onto the uh, hull in that. And then the guns, uh, well they really weren't really good when it comes to tier 2, that is a big warning. Uh, for this tank, I'm going to give it a ranking of, ta-da, a 7.5 out of 10. This tank, it's really good as probably up close because of the accuracy on this gun. All the guns on this tank pretty much have bad penetration, and this tank will not stand up against tier 2. You're pretty much screwed once you're in like tier 2 games, at the most part. You're pretty much uh, worthless in tier 2. So that's why I think about the Renault Atsu. Uh, I do have gameplay and a review on, I think it's the Chiri. I'm going to be doing that game, or that review, pretty soon while I'm going to be at my trip in Pennsylvania. I only go there like once every three months or four months. So vote, rate, comment, subscribe, all that fun stuff. I have a Facebook page down below. Do you think I should be making a cooking channel by chance? I'm not entirely sure. Uh, this is Galactic Storm, and I'm saying I shall see you guys later.